Hey folks, Perry here. Welcome to this Let's Play of Europe Universalis 4. This is the Mirzel, or however pronounced, mm -hmm. uh, the Blueberry Campaign. I'll sit down with one of my professor friends and have her explain to me how to pronounce the word. Mm -hmm. Just so when I know I'm saying it wrong, I know why. But anyways, it is 1455. We have just finished our first major war as we threw England off of our lawn. And, uh, between that and the Bur Burgundy Inheritance, we've actually gotten France back already. Which is something I'm actually quite pleased to see. And I also suddenly see that Provence is allied with Liege and no one else. But I have no causes belli against them. All right, well, we'll fix that. Let me see. Build a spy network. Anyways. Onwards and upwards. It was a good war, though. Again, we got our territory. We actually gave a portion of Portugal to do... Uh, Austria. Welcome to the war, Austria. We uh, you know, managed to strip off part of Portugal and give it to Spain, too. Or Castile. And then I have to build some ships to deal with that. Let's see... Building a spy network. And we are going to... You can build them. Play will be uh, three years for that one. But we want to go to buildings because I am making some money. Trade is nice. Forts I have plenty of. What I could use are... Churches to increase the tax rates. Throw one in Paris first. Or anything of note. Insti oh, I didn't even see that button. Institutions. So how do we get this to spread to us? Do 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 European ten development province, European twenty development province, okay. Italian capital, well that's cheating. Let's see. Paris is a 32 development. Well, we'll just keep an eye on it. Our military access is fine. We 
Family ties. So again, the Emperor's consort's family, Savoyan, they visited. They were happy. Urbanization. What does this do? Uh, only a small portion of our population live in cities with the growing prosperity of the bourgeoisie. It is attracting an increasing number of people from the countryside. Some cities are growing so quickly that existing problems in terms of sanitation and overcrowding have gone uh, from troubling to catastrophic. The poor have taken up residence outside city walls and filthy suburbs. It's pretty, um, You know what? I'm going to take a loan and pay for this one. I like that the plus three base tax across. Across the whole thing. Of course, it's an awful lot to repay. Oh well, we'll take it and then build up some more temples. Take the loan. Maybe we'll improve the conditions. I'll actually, go look at the bourgeois. The bourgeoisie class. They have moderate loyalty. Actually, I should have grabbed grabbed the contribution from them first, and then. Oh, they're a little unhappy with me. That's fine. I will grant them a province. Where is a good... Where's a good province to give them? So it actually removes local autonomy for sailors, which means I really want to put this in a coastal province. And Gascon's part of yeah, I'm gonna give this one to them. A main trade node. They increase the trade power there, and that's quite worthwhile. And actually I will then take that and repay the loan. Probably not an efficient use of my money, but it's my money, so I'm going to use it I want to. I just hate loans. He is the devil. Devil, I tell you. Reasonable all through that. Reasonable, I say. End of the Hundred Years' War. Louis the Ninth, ben uh, eleventh benefit from the outcome of the Hundred Years' War: the virtual destruction of the feudal nobility ensured in unit France more solidly under the royal authority. Which, if you follow the French history, means it's the roller coaster of new monarch build France up, major wars build crash France down, new monarch. 
I will take that. Time to build another temple or church. And we'll build that. <laughs> Fifty power, but they become unhappy. Yeah. We'll give them another province. We'll give them Languedoc, Languedoc, whatever, and Narbonne. looks like fun. So if I declare war on you, I get Liege brought in. Milan naturally comes in. Let's see, how are the great powers... Not bad, okay. Eat up all of my do 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 diplomacy. Good. Uh, yeah, we'll have to take that one. It's too tempting.
Now, what idea should I go for? There's influence, which can reduces aggressive expansion quite a bit, diplomatization quite a bit. So this would help with growth. Um, I could go exploring. Military is tempting. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what these, our neighbors have picked already. Nothing. Well, I could pick it first and go first. Hmm. But well, that would somewhat reduce my focus on Europe. Two to get to the conquistadors. Um, so many options. Hmm. This is where I'm lousy in this game. This is where I am lousy. Then you've got to factor in these, where what policies go well with things. I like the adding of the icons to show which monarch power pays the upkeep. Where's the mining act? Oh wait, the Mining Act is with expansion. This one is tempting because the core creation costs a reduction. Let's see. But expansion combines with quality. Give me improved leader fire. With the Mining Act. Not sure how Mining Act does that, but it does. Oh, uh, let's see. I played one of these games where I focused on the leadership abilities out of the, out of the trait tree with Brandenburg, and it just got out of control. I mean, you was winning every battle I could come across just because of the quality of the army I was fielding. I think administrative is what I'll go with first because that adaptability. Is going to save me a lot of monarch points in the long run. Hmm. 
So expansion rule. Well, I'm wanting it. I'm wanting administrative because I want to spend these points on these techs, not ideas yet. I'm always throwing my ideas first and pay pay for that the wrong way. So one of these two. I guess we do economic. Barely develop. Not a huge culture converter. That is potentially quite useful. And we'll go with administrative. It'll help if I need mercenaries later. Reduce the cost of admin tech towards the end. And that 25% core, core reduction is worth it. of a kind. The Empress Consort has impressed many men and women at court with her sharp wit and extensive knowledge of the natural world. She has long been a collector of tomes of botany and chemistry. And she corresponds with several generations of her brightest minds. Take a level. I'll take a level three at half off. No oh, good for the Pope. He is now a Renaissance man, or whatever. I want to grab a hold of that node. But, you know, no node is good node. Or no news is good, you know, something like that. I'll take that. I will take that any day of the week. Oh wait, I wonder if the... Uh, if things like the Renaissance are like visible now, countries can actually have them. Did they give them a map mode?
Oh, okay. Yet more data to take in for this game. And this is also a pretty good place to break as I try to learn what's going on. But thank you very much for watching, folks. If you have any questions, comments, or observations, leave them down below. And by all means, feel free to hit like or, or uh, subscribe if you uh, want to encourage more of these. Barry here signing off, and see you next time.